welcome back to my channel as you can see guys i am so fabulously adorned in a pineapple makeup look that i'm going to feel so painful removing basically i'm gonna be so painful removing this makeup look but we are going to do this yes so welcome to my channel if you don't know my name is naninga koe and today i'm going to be reviewing uh the oxygen masks i don't know whether they're called oxygen masks i have no clue what they're called but this mask here right here it's called bubble mask yes because i mean oxygen is usually depicted as a bubble but yeah so it's a bubble mask okay and this one is from china from the brand jom tam beauty skin and I got it off AliExpress, so I'm hoping that it's going to work really well. But this is also a get and ready with me video. I do so many get ready with me videos. And in case you're interested in this pineapple look, this pineapple eyeshadow, pineapple weird pineapple look, definitely I'll link it up here for you guys to go and check it out. But in the meantime, let's remove this makeup. You know, you spend a ton of hours putting it on your face and well you just have to remove it afterwards because you're not going to walk around like this are you you gotta look crazy so the first thing that i normally do guys is i actually remove everything first the wig the wig goes fast remember this wig i got this wig off jumia about a year ago if i'm not wrong uh i did a jumia wig haul and i got it for 200 kenya shillings that's why i've actually mentioned it because literally two dollars and i have used it in so many videos now that we look so tiny headed and small headed we are going to remove these fabulous earrings also that i also got off aliexpress this is not a video sponsored by any company no but that's just where i buy my stuff in case you're interested in this maybe i'll link the unboxing right here also because they're really cute and really sturdy like so pretty for dinner yes so next i'm just going to remove this scarf because i don't want anything getting in the way of the cleansing and then are you ready guys we are going to take this nevia refreshing cleansing lotion it's always the first thing i normally use like when i'm removing my makeup so i normally just apply a generous amount on my hand literally very generous like that then i usually just smear it all over my face <laughs> So the cotton balls I'm using, I just got them from the supermarket, the cotton balls, and they are really tiny cotton balls, but I still use them. And I've just taken two too, as you can see, it's just kind of wiping off. And you want to do this in a hurry because you don't want the lotion to dry down again. Uh-huh, foam bubble. Okay, we are done with step one, as you can see. That lotion is pretty good at its job. But we are not done yet. This is a step I normally do. Uh, some people skip this step, but I prefer to do it. So I normally take a baby wipe or you can use a makeup wipe remover or whatever. Just to remove the excess residue uh, on the face that maybe the lotion did not get onto. So I'm just going to be removing the excess. I've just used a baby wipe, not really a makeup wipe. As you can see, there's still a lot of residue. Facing. <laughs> Refreshing face wash. That's the one I'm going to be using to wash my face. And then I'll be back because I hear this is a cleansing mask. This thing here is a cleansing mask. They're saying that you should not wash your face first, I guess. But I prefer to just remove the excess makeup, then see what it's made. Okay, we are actually done with washing my face. I've even dried it out. And I think this is supposed to be a cleansing mask. Um, Honestly, it's written mostly in Chinese. And the part that is written in English doesn't give instructions. Although the instructions are given in a pictorial here, you know. Yes. Um, I think what I'm going to do is that no harm in me having washed my face first let's see because it says it's black salt pure clean bubble mask it's mask but let us open it it looks like it's already bubbly why is it already bubbly 
Finally. Okay. Looks like an ordinary sheet mask. Let us hope it will bubble. Mm, so creepy. Okay. I guess it's not supposed to get in the eyes because it is like a cleansing mask, but it feels really good, guys. Does it look like it has soap? Oh, it's supposed to be black face. Sorry, guys, but it looks weird. Yeah, I haven't seen a lot of people reviewing this mask just because it can look like black face. Yes. You know, the Chinese could have used any other color. They could have used any other color. Okay, let me not get controversial. I don't care. It's just the color. But I've been on TikTok on the bad part. The most negative side. Oh, it's beginning to form, guys. It's beginning to form. And I can't seem to get it on properly. I'm going to a mirror. Just one more. I remember when I was in the choir in primary school, uh, I used to sing in the choir, my day guys, let me shock you, and guess what I used to sing, I used to sing soprano one, and then I quit the choir when I was in high school, I never got into the school choir because of cliques, you know, I wasn't in the right clique to get into the school choir, that was high school, but now in primary school, I remember I used to sing soprano one, and we even went until nationals, and we were like number one in one song, and number two in the other one, so I sang soprano one, and one of the yeah practice that we used to do used to be like, mama mia, mama mia, mama mia, mama mia, mama, it's been so long since I sang, but there's nothing I can do really if I'm waiting for this mask to do that. It smells it feels weird on the hands to be honest, as if it's absorbing my skin. Okay, I've actually rinsed my face from the mask. Um, I removed the mask and then I rinsed it with water, plain water without any soap and from what I can feel is that it leaves such an amazing feeling honestly I'm going to repurchase that mask I'm not even gonna lie because it just felt like any inflamed inflamed yes inflamed for pimples actually felt soothed I don't know much as it was actually a cleansing thingy the pimples felt soothed yes and uh, hopefully it's gonna work on me so i'm gonna order more because it felt really good after using it uh the next step that i normally do is actually take some rose water this one i normally use this allison rose water i've always been using it since my mom used to use it a long long time ago in the 90s and i have been using it as a toner i don't know where i put my mirror but i'm just gonna use it as a toner because uh, i'll also be testing out other products that I also got from Aliexpress. Aliexpress is really a good site uh, for stuff that is affordable. I've seen a lot of face masks and you haven't seen uh, my face mask haul. I'm going to link it up here and hopefully I'm trying to clear the pimples and acne that I got after using the snail creams. It really triggered my face that snail something something. So snail something somethings. So I'm trying to heal. Yeah, this cotton ball and all. So I'm going to be using this uh, frozen uh, sleep mask. This is a sleep mask that I got from the same place that I got the bubble mask uh, of AliExpress. And I'm going to link the sellers again in this video also. But you can also check out that video. Uh, yeah, and you can also check out the seller. I think it was a mask shop. Like it specializes in masks only. Yeah, so AliExpress skincare is like, I'm testing it now. 
I haven't been using it. I've been using this normal mainstream brands like L'Oreal, Garnier. What other skincare have I? Ule. I've used Ule a lot when I was in campus. And this is the Lyco Frozen Sleeping Mask. It says brightening, repairing after sun, deep moisturizing. Now I used this yesterday and I'm going to use it again today because I think it is good for two uses. So what you do with this sleep mask? So... <coughs> As I was saying, I was saying that this mask um, it feels really good when you use it. Like this mask, are the, the sleeping masks are like some of the best investments that we've ever made of AliExpress. They, are, they, they make the skin feel so good. And a sleeping mask is actually a mask. Uh, you apply it like a moisturizer, but it's not a moisturizer. So you sleep in it and then in the morning you rinse it off thoroughly with water. Yeah, so I'm just going to apply this. And this one is clear color so it's completely clear almost like a serum but it's very thick when you apply it's not like a serum that is lightweight you're just gonna see and i like to apply a generous amount so yesterday i applied a generous amount in case you guys were wondering like how many times can you use these sleep masks i'd say twice because yesterday I used a generous amount just like today and you can see the amount of product that has remained in it yeah it's kind of evening I know it doesn't look evening because I'm against the light I should really strategize on my filming because I really don't know what position I know you're supposed to be against a window but I tend to be always like towards the window like I should be facing the window right now. Oh yes, look at that amount. So I'd say give this mask a go. With skincare, anything is possible, you know. Um, I've ever used like uh, this gold touch once. I don't know, Kenan's no gold touch. I remember there was a friend of mine in high school who used to rave about gold touch and I never ever considered using it and then one day I was so broke I just decided to buy gold touch it's 70 Kenya shillings and I'm telling you I was impressed and it worked so well on my skin and I have ever used really expensive skincare and it did not go well for my skin so skin is different sometimes it's our hormones sometimes it's the food the diet that we are eating baby poor drinking of water and all that so many factors contribute to bad skin i'm not going to apply anything around my eyes for today and yeah thank you so much for joining me in this video i truly appreciate you don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next video